Example 1b. Solve the second order homogeneous differential equation d 2 y dx squared minus 4 dy dx plus 4y equal to 0. We are going to guess the solution again. We guess that y is equal to e power lambda x for some suitable value of lambda. Then we know that dy dx is equal to lambda e power lambda x and d2y dx square equal to lambda square e power lambda x. And we substitute y dy dx and d2y dx square into the differential equation, we will get lambda square e power lambda x minus 4 lambda e power lambda x plus 4 e power lambda x equal to 0. And we factor out e power lambda x. We get another factor lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 4 and the product is equal to 0. And we know that since e power lambda x is not equal to 0 for every x, so we have lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 4 must be equal to 0. And we factorize, we find that this lambda minus 2 times lambda minus 2 equals 0. So we have two possible values of lambda. That means lambda 1 equals 2 and lambda 2 also equals 2. That is lambda equals to 2. So our guess solution is y equal to e power lambda x, which is equal to e power 2x. Or you can recall y1 is e power lambda 1x, which is e power 2x. y2 is e power lambda 2x, which is e power 2x again. So the solution is y equal to combination of y1 and y2, which is c1 times e power 2x plus c2 times e power 2x. However, these two terms can be combined together, and c1 and c2 are arbitrary constant, so let's call this c here times e power 2x. So we get y equal to a constant times e power 2x. However, this general solution is incomplete. As the equation is a second order differential equation, there should be two arbitrary constants. So they are missing solution. How to find this missing solution? We will guess again. So this time I'll guess y2 is equal to x times e power 2x where e power 2x was coming from the earlier solution. So I guess that y2 x times e power 2x is a solution. And now we are going to verify that this is indeed a solution. Let's do the verification. If y2 is x times e bar 2x, then dy2 dx is the differentiation of x times e bar 2x. Using the product rule of differentiation, this is x times differentiation of e bar 2x plus e power 2x times differentiation of x. 
we should give you x times 2 times e power 2x plus e power 2x. Or dy to dx is equal to 2x times e power 2x plus e power 2x. Differentiate the derivative. Another time, you get differentiation of 2x e 2x plus e 2x. Now, the first term, you need a product rule again. So, I'll keep the first term 2x, differentiate e 2x again, and then keep the second term e 2x and differentiate 2x. And then differentiate e2x again. So for this is using product rule, whereas this one is differentiation second term. And you find that this is equal to 2x times 2 e power 2x plus 2 times e power 2x plus 2 times e power 2x. So overall, this is equal to 4x e2x plus 4 times e power 2x. Now, substitute the expression for y2 dy2 dx and e2 y2 dx square into the expression d2 y dx square minus 4 dy dx plus 4y. And then we get 4x e2x plus 4 e2x here minus 4 2x e2x plus e2x here plus 4x e2x. And calculate again and get 4x e2x plus 4e2x minus 8x e2x minus 4e2x plus 4x e2x. You'll see a lot of cancellation. For example, 4x e2x and 4x e2x together is 8x e2x and subtract 8x e2x, you get 0. And similarly, 4 times e2x and minus 4 times e2x, the cancel each other, you get 0 again. Therefore, this resulted in 0. So, we have verified that x times e power 2x is the solution of d2y dx square minus 4 dy dx plus 4y equal to 0. To recap, we have e power 2x and x times e power 2x are solution of d2y dx square minus 4 dy dx plus 4y equal to 0. Therefore, the general solution is a linear combination of these two functions. So, y equal to a constant c times e power 2x plus another constant d times x plus e power 2x. Or, you can take out e power 2x multiplied by c plus d times x. So, this means y is equal to e power 2x times a constant plus another constant times x. The solution I just presented seems very long. However, there is a standard procedure you can follow. To solve a times d2y dx squared plus b dy dx plus cy equals 0, 
you guess y equal e power lambda x and you get a auxiliary equation a lambda square plus b lambda plus c equals zero and if this auxiliary equation has only one root lambda then the general solution is y equal to e power lambda x times a constant a plus a constant b times x. This is how the general solution looks like. In example 1b, we have lambda equal to 2. If you look at page 3 of the formula card, you'll see the method how to solve a second order homogeneous ODE with constant coefficient a d2y dx squared plus b dy dx plus cy equal to 0. You have an auxiliary equation a lambda squared plus b lambda plus c equal to 0. And you solve for lambda. In example 1b, we happen to have two equal roots, lambda 1, lambda 2, equal to lambda. Then the general solution is y equal to e power lambda x times a times x plus b. That means y equal to e power lambda x times a constant times x plus another constant. 